Stellar Blade is literally killing women. The IGN France editor-in-chief, so this was after they posted their apology for the Stellar Blade article. He goes into, like, I mean, nobody knows what this is, right? So, like, somebody was able to, uh, to translate it, and, and we'll listen to what he said. He's having a meltdown. Yeah, he's actually really upset about this. And, uh, he answered, uh, yes, no problem. Go tell that to the women who are hit, killed, and denigrated, or commit suicide because they can't live up to the fictional standards expected by men. The problem is not the sexy design itself, except that it sucks compared to others, but no it doesn't, shut up! No it doesn't! What do you mean? It's whatever, okay, anyway. But the percentage of males who will only want this type of fictional body in reality. Obviously, we understand that this does not shock people who think that women are objects and must obey and be beaten. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy needs to take his medication. Oh no. Does France have a mental health problem too? Oh god, this design makes us sigh and roll our eyes, and we laugh at anyone who needs it. Man or woman, but that's it. The certainly clashing remark in the text, uh, which targets the creative process, is not necessarily a specific designer or game director. This is obvious to anyone who knows a little French only has this impact because a good portion of gamers have become too fragile due to being fed the patriarchy. These writers are completely insane. Okay, so, I mean, obviously he's butthurt because they made him, they apologized for something in his, in, you know, like this is his newspaper, right? And they, they made him take it down. And so he's crying about it and he's saying that like, yeah, I'm sure that Stellar Blade is why women are being beaten and, and killed, okay? Yeah, and committing suicide. Like, listen, you think this isn't a problem for men? Like, there are plenty of guys. Remember we watched that video yesterday with, like, uh, where the fuck was it? I, I don't know where it is. Yeah, this one here. The social media video. Like, you think that guys don't see this and think that they're a piece of shit, too? What's this? You think that women have a monopoly on this? Like, oh, wow, well, we can't have unrealistic body standards for women. And by the way, the unrealistic body standard here is being thin and in shape. I mean, she doesn't have massive mega milkers or like a gigantic ass. She's just a hot, fit girl. If you go to a gym, go to a Gold's gym, and you'll probably see two or three girls that look just like that. You will, every fucking gym. So how is it really an unrealistic body standard when the only reason why there's more of them in the gym, more of them in one place than another is that the one place is Golden Corral and the other one is the gym? What are we talking about? That's it. Usually filming themselves as well. Yeah, exactly. So, if there's nothing wrong with trying to put emphasis on somebody who's like fit and in shape. Like, for example, whenever I usually make characters in video games, I don't make them look like me because I think like, oh, you know, I probably am too skinny. I think I'm too skinny in a lot of cases. And, you know, I probably should work out and exercise a bit more. Now, does it mean I hate myself? No, I don't hate myself, but it's like there's things about my about my appearance I wish I could change. I think it's the same with everybody, right? Like I, the one thing that's crazy to me is that there are these girls, and these are like these OnlyFans girls, and I've talked to these girls, and they're like, this girl is an eight, a nine, or in some cases a ten for some people, right? This girl's really hot, and she's constantly thinking about how ugly she is. It's like, are you fucking stupid? Why would people give you money if you were ugly? Shut the fuck up! Like, what are you talking about? What are you thinking this for? <laughs> so it's not like women have a monopoly on insecurity. There's so many guys that have this problem. Like, this isn't an issue at all. And also, like, uh, the fictional standards. This is not a fictional standard. This is- it's not. Like, I understand if you're talking about, like, a, um... Lady Demestritu, or whatever the fuck her name is, uh, Demestro, or whatever, in Resident Evil Village, okay? You have an eight-foot-tall vampire lady with massive fucking titties. This is an unrealistic body image. Unfortunately. But the truth is that nobody was complaining about that one. Nobody gave a shit about that. But why is it that people are getting mad about this? It's crazy. That's the unrealistic one. What's funny is these people in character creator won't make themselves. I've never seen one posted. Yeah, I don't know. And, uh... 
The problem is not the sexy design itself. The percentage of males who will want this type of fictional body and re... This does not sh Oh my god. Oh my god. What an idiot. Yeah, why would- so why would guys- like, I mean, of course guys would want her. She's hot. What's wrong with that? It's obvious, isn't it? I mean, there's some guys that's like, oh, I like other girls that look like another way. But, like, for the guys that like girls that look like that, yeah, it makes sense, right? I mean, what- duh. Like, what is this? They're getting mad instead of at, at this, uh, Demestro? Because they're mad they're show, uh, showing an achievable body and stellar blade and out-of-shape women don't want to admit that? I think there's some cases of that, too. But yeah, obviously this guy's having some sort of uh, mental breakdown because people disagree with an article in his uh, on his online internet newspaper. So yeah, I thought this was kind of funny to see. And, um, you know, it is, is killing... Stellar Blade is literally killing women. That is incredible. Wow, who listens to Insane Rambling? Well, unfortunately, some people that opened up IGN. It was so bad they had to apologize for it. He was probably mad that his employee was told to apologize. Yeah, I, I think that's probably why. And, um, you know, this kind of stuff is pretty stupid. And I think most normal people realize how ridiculous this is. They do. They realize how ridiculous this is. And I think that the reason why people will buy or not buy a game like Stellar Blade is going to have nothing to do with how hot the character is. Like, that's one of those things where it's like, this gets you in the door, it maybe gets you interested in the game, but people usually don't purchase games based off of that exclusively. Like, I'm not saying that it doesn't matter. It does matter, and it makes it better if it's a good game, but if Stellar Blade is a bad game, the character being hot will not save it. That's my point. I wish more people would realize that.